Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Thank you very much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. Today, TXT are back with... This is quite the title. Zero x one, zero times one equals love song. I know I love you. Featuring Sori. That is, that is quite, that is quite the title. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> TXT and their song titles, some of them anyway, are, are, are quite, quite something. So I, I can't be entirely surprised. But anyway, they're back with this. Very much looking forward to it. I checked out the concept trailer when that dropped a few weeks ago, was it? Um, I don't know. Time and the passage of time is, mm. um, but I checked that out. Other than that, I haven't seen any teasers. I ha didn't want to. I wanted to go into this as completely blind as possible. Both this and the album, which I will be checking out. Hopefully all going well later today over on Patreon. Um, I don't actually know how many tracks there are. It. Ooh, a whole eight. That's very exciting. Yeah, so I'll be checking that out. Hopefully it'll be going well later today over on Patreon. Um, it'll be the first album that I actually properly fully listened to from TXT, which is fun and exciting. Um, I do, um, at some point, <laughs> plan on going back and listening to their other ones. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll see how that happens. For now though, we're going to enjoy this music video. Let's get into it. I have absolutely no idea what to expect from this. Like, like, I feel like it's one of those situations where, you know, you have the concept trailer and it kind of gives you an idea, but then at the same time, they could completely 180 you and just say, here's something completely different. And I'm looking at this song title, and I'm like, this song title doesn't look like it's gonna fit with what the concept trailer was showing. But I could be wrong. I have no idea. This is why I didn't watch the teasers, because I have no idea, no idea what to expect, no idea what I'm getting into, but I'm excited. So let's get into it. TXT, really long title. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. I still miss the bloop. Still miss it. Check that I do have. Yeah, okay. Whoa! Oh, I love the guitar. Oh, no way! Oh, the husk, the growl. <laughs> Oh, that melody is beautiful. God, the husk in Tay's voice is something. Oh, I love, I love that. The harmony in their voices. Melody of that line is it. 
<laughs> he just starts grooving. I love that it's like loser and then lover. That's really cool. Okay. Interesting. There is so much I do not understand. And at some point, it's probably going to be one of the next like big things that I do regarding TXT. Like I'll be checking out stuff along with this comeback, but then like one of the things I really want to do is I want to watch some stuff regarding their lore and their story because I want to understand it better. Aside from all that, I absolutely love that. That threw me back to like... I don't know, like like 10, even like 15 years ago and being a teenager and like that was the kind of that bloody cat hair. <laughs> cat hair in my mouth. Um yeah, like being a teenager and that was the kind of stuff that I would listen to, like that kind of song, that kind of sound. But it didn't sound didn't sound old in any way like it didn't sound like an old design it was a very now current kind of sound but it was just seemed to be drawing elements from that very pop rock um pop rock kind of feel and i feel like it's almost reminiscent of um oh what's his name hang on what in his name dum dum um okay right this might sound like two very strange artists to Put next to each other but young blood and five seconds of summer it kind of it's like that kind of sound anyway um i finally it, it was young blood young blood's name i just could not remember for the life of me but i found it did i have to google halsey's boyfriends <laughs> halsey's ex-boyfriends yes i did but <laughs> i found it anyway um i really really love that we're gonna watch it again we're gonna listen to it again i'm gonna talk more about certain moments um this is just really really good the whole music video so i i've talked about this before how like one of my favorite brands of music video is a music video where it's like a group of friends having fun if you then throw in the whole idea of like found family which is kind of the vibe that this gives me it's just a whole other level like love that shit let's do this Also, if anyone can tell me what that says, please do. I love the, like, chanting vocals in the back. The husk in his fucking voice. <clears throat> they really went for, like, pop rock boy band vibes with this and I love it.
the way he's singing, are you kidding me? I'm... When I tell you I am completely obsessed with that melody. Like, that, that, that melody of that line is so beautiful. And so it's such a pop melody and I love it so much. <laughs> That's one of those lines that, like, is that a fish in the sky? Yes. Why is there a fish in the sky? Why? Oh, that's a line. Yeah, the harmony between their voices, between her voice and theirs, is so beautiful and then bringing the chanting vocals in the background back. But also throughout this song, the percussion, the drums, so pretty, so impactful. <laughs> I love that we strip it back to the acoustic guitar. It's a fish again. I caught that reference. <laughs> the world of ice. <laughs> oh, the little goofy dance. <coughs> the growl, man, the growl. I'm gonna be the fishes. What's the deal with the fish? <laughs> There's fish everywhere. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, no, I'm gonna be, like, in my car, and I'm gonna be screaming along to every lyric that I can in this. <laughs> and I love this whole bit where he just starts grooving, like, I don't understand it at all, but I love it. He just... He's just grooving. I love you just have a little vocal line and then it slowly starts going back in I assume this is just for the music video but if it's in the song itself like how it completely strips out oh no there's a fly wait are you a fly yes it's a fly I wasn't sure if it was a fly or a bee Oh god, <laughs> my dog's coming. <laughs> my dog's coming to try and get the fly. Oh no. Okay, it's gone. Okay, good. Um, let me close my door so it doesn't come back in. Okay, right. Sorry. Let's let me continue. Um So what happens here? Like I'm I'm assuming So he tries to light the clothes on fire. I assume to give them some warmth. But then the lighter doesn't work, so he throws it, and then the car sets on fire? How'd that work? <laughs> like, I assume the idea is that he- <laughs> I love it, he just starts laughing. I assume the idea is that he throws the lighter into the car and it catches fire, but like... <laughs> doesn't matter. At least you're warm! <laughs> God, these drums, man. <laughs> There's something about this that really speaks to the feeling of being of being young and trying to find your place in the world um, and feeling like the only people that understand you are your closest friends. Like there's a real, this really appeals to that side of being, being young. Um, oh, I really love that. I love that so much. I can't even fully articulate how much I love that, but I love that. <laughs> I love that song. I love the music video, even though I barely understand it. It was awesome. And
This might be my favourite song of theirs yet that I've heard. At least title track. This might be my favourite of theirs that I've heard. Um, but still early days. We've only listened to it twice. But there's a strong chance that this might be it. Because this kind of sound, like it just taps into that real nostalgic part of my brain. Um, and I, I can already tell I'm going to want to listen to this a lot. So yeah, I'm putting my money on it. This is probably going to end up being my favourite TXT title track. Um, if it's not already. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this one here. Um, I am very excited to listen to this album now. I mean, I was already excited, but now I'm even more excited. Um, I have also pre-ordered a copy of it. It's going to be the first TXT album that I own, which is very cool and exciting. Um, if they dropped an album preview, I did not listen to it, so I have no idea what to expect from these B-sides, but I'm sure they're going to be great because, to be honest, every single song that I've heard from TXT is absolutely slapped, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.